get for one phone call? Two, not one, two. I said, do you have any other bills? Yeah, right across the street. Come on, man. See what I'm saying? Now you know you could do that. Hey, listen, here's the key. I don't want to waste your time. Your time. I don't want to waste my time because we can't get that back. So I don't want to guess what I could do or not. You want to know what I could do, right? I need to know if you can even afford what I could do. And then let me make the decision whether I want to earn your business. That means I may do even less. Let's say, let's say a thousand dollars is more than you would have asked for, right? Then you could, but they don't know that. So you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. Since you're giving me two properties, I know you're not happy. I'll take a hundred dollars off a month for three months. Something like that. But you got two buildings, and it's not going to take you an extra trip. You just go from here to there. Or you got one person doing that, one person doing this, and you get it done. So it's no extra work. Now you got, now you see you're thinking, now you got leverage, right? You can say, you know what I'm gonna do for you? Let's say the worst case scenario, they wanna do it, but they're a little hesitant. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you $100 off a month for the first 90 days, fair enough. Since you're giving me two bills. It's your call, not mine. I'm just giving you ideas what you could do. I don't know what your profit margin is. I don't care to know. You decide that. You do it. And then we go there and we close the deal. That is possible depending on the square footage of yeah, the Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What she told me, she told me the square footage is about 5,000. She said about 5,000. You see what I'm saying? You already know You already know the services. You recording this? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you already know um, what the square footage You already know the services. You already know she's not happy. Everything that you needed to know, we got. Including the pride. When I gave, she gave me the pride, you were like, I saw your face like shock. Because it doesn't happen. Well, I set the tone for that. What was the tone? The tone was the timing. You don't want to waste time. You don't want to do the dog. I didn't have to tell a dog in pony show. It wouldn't have been insulting to her, right? So I didn't say, you know, you don't want to waste time because we cannot do that. And we got the deal. So I'm gonna call my dentist and say, listen, I have an urgent point. I gotta, I gotta go operate on somebody's tooth. So we're gonna, you know, if you, you could you guys stay after two? Okay. So I'm, I'm gonna change my appointment and uh, we'll do that. We'll do the follow call. We'll say, listen, we'll put a proposal. You know, we'll say, listen, you know, let's do a preliminary signing. You sign it. You know, I would like to go meet with you just so I at least see the building. You know, we're neighbors, you know, let's take a trip up there. Let's look at it. And we were going to go canvassing, remember? We were going to do that at all. We were going to go up and down the block. So look, call it 2 o'clock. Is that going to be for us to get permission to go visit this property? The, what we're going to do, she's going to so call it. That way we know we're not blind bidding on something that we might lose our ass on? Right. Two things. Number one is she's going to give us the price on the other building. What the, it's the same type of services. She's going to tell us how much they're paying for that. Right? And then I'm going to suggest, hey, listen, what I would like to do is I would like to meet with you today just to you know shake hand, introduce ourselves and bring you the bid to you right away. Make it personal. And then we can meet tomorrow and we can solidify it. When the iron is hot, you go for it. Remember, who set the tone for that? We did. Should do whatever we ask right now. So why not do it? 